and welcome back to the dog father's toys uh today will be i have received the package for the from fan home oh. and it's the enterprise So, this would be the it says three, but I thought I've received four, but so far, but so let's look at the book here's maybe there's part seven parts the do, which is the rear of the secondary hall which connects into the saucer section and there's part eight more framework stage nine more framework part ten framework And let's see, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there's so there's four, four parts, and that as you can see, that's where the back of it goes, and that's where you. Quick instructions of what most of be doing with the back for until you get to here where you're working more on the framework of the Enterprise. Uh, more frame or a little bit more to the back. And there's section 10, more frame, more back, and it's showing you uh, lights, or windows, I mean, and here we have a Star Trek, a new beginning, which is talking about this being the first live action Star Trek since the original series. And the first episode was Encounter at Farpoint. Which they had a run in with the Q. And special note is. That. Well, from starting with the next generation, it seemed like up until Enterprise, Star Trek Enterprise, they always had someone come back from a previous show or movie, or because <clears throat> like in Next Generations, uh, Doctor McCoy inspects the Enterprise for a brief cameo, and this is what the makeup test were they wanted him to look like at a hundred and some years old. But this is what we got. And there's. He was an un, uh, unnamed officer in Farpoint. But he became a reoccurring TNG character named Chief O'Brien. And he moved on to Deep Space Nine. Well. Uh, like I was saying about the moving on when they came out with uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine Patrick Stewart was the one that 
moved over to do the cameo, and then when Voyager came, you had Quark. And then when Enterprise came, they went back and used the guy who played Zephyrin Cochran in First Contact. And there, the Q entity. One of the favorite bad guys throughout the series, and he was also in season two of Star Trek Picard. And he made a cameo in season three. Then the second episode, the Naked Now, which is a well, the Enterprise as it gets infected with a infection that acts much like alcohol, and this was a retelling of a story from the original. Then we had Code of Honor, which has been vote, voted by a lot of people the worst episode of the TNG air. And even I skip it. Then we had The Last Outpost, which is our... You get the first look at the Ferengi Empire... And you go to this planet and this guy's like, uh, he's not a bad guy. He's just trying to figure out what's going on. He's the last of the planet. And these are, there's a Ferengi, but here's the concept drawings of what they wanted to use for the Ferengi, but none of them took. Until we got, there's some more right there, but this is what we got, and here's their ship, and that's it for that, and here's the parts, uh, here's the back of the Enterprise. There, section seven, and there's eight with the framework. Uh, section nine, uh, you got framework, uh, light, and windows. Not a lot of windows. <laughs> and then... Well, Section 10's got a few windows. So, that's that. I'll probably break this up into two separate videos. Like seven and eight together. Let's see, where's eight? <laughs> That's nine. Okay, there's eight. Like, I'll put these two together. And then put these two together. And so with that, uh, that'll be it for tonight. I'll work on this sometime tomorrow. I got some other project doing. I'm going out of town for the week uh, for one day, so I'm gonna try to double up on videos so you, and post them ahead of time. So, so tune in when the next one's comes up if you want to see the building of the Enterprise D 
Uh, be safe out there. The weather here is, well, they're calling for wintry mix. So be careful. And until the next video, I'll see you out there. Bye-bye.